guys welcome to another nail art video today i'm going to be making these really fancy uh sheer lavender shell nails with some milky white it's a very popular type of nail art in japan so the main color that i'm going to be using is presto jc6 this is a nice lavender color it's very sheer it's very creamy and i like it i want something sheer today and i'm also using a milky white I don't have a lot of it. I'm like close to finishing this one. So so these are the two colors I'm going to be using today. And I'm also going to use metallic liner. This is the Clow Gold Metallic. It looks silver here, but I have to mix it. And it's, the nail art pieces that I'm going to be using today is just gold glitter. I have some gold foil. Two colors, two different colors of shell, purple and blue. And I'm also using some Aurora Flakes. All right, so let's get started. All right, I'm gonna get some of this color and I'm only going to paint my thumb and my pinky. So starting in the middle. All right, I'm gonna paint another coat just because I want a little more color. I'm gonna do my pinky. Okay, I'm gonna do a second layer. Next, I'm gonna grab my metallic liner and I'm just gonna do a very, very thin French with this gel color. I'm gonna grab a liner brush very thin one this is a rika gel one i'm just going to grab a little bit of this metallic gel color you really don't need that much um, just a tiny amount so i'm just going to do a very very thin french right here i think i need a little more Do you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to do my thumb. I'm gonna repeat the same design. Moving on to the next nail, I'm not gonna encapsulate this yet because I like to do it all, all nails at the same time. Some of this milky white color, it's very sheer color. I'm gonna paint the entire middle nail. It's very sheer, so it's not a lot of color. I just want some of the white to cover like my, my pink, like my natural pink. Okay, I'm gonna do a second layer. And then on this nail, I'm going to paint same color, but I'm not going to paint the entire nail. I'm only going to go about halfway. I think this is too much gel, actually. Let me, let me put some of this back inside. I don't know how to describe this shape. It's just a very uneven shape, not, not covering the entire nail. And pretty soon, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with this nail. Some of this diamond gel you can also use a very hard gel for this i just need a very thick gel to make like a 3d texture a clear gel that's very thick like this like it's more this is this gel is for applying rhinestones and very big charms but i also like to use it to make textured nail art like i'm going to show you guys right here so i'm gonna just do a squiggly line. 
So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to put a little bit of texture. This is to create a textured frame. It doesn't have to be perfect either. So I'm gonna grab a little more because I'm gonna do the same thing on this nail. So I'm just gonna apply it at the very edge of where I painted that milky white. I'm gonna create a border. So I just wanna make a texture because I'm gonna go in with the metallic gold. This is gonna make it look more natural, like a geode. Next, I'm gonna grab my sculpture gel and I'm gonna use this to apply the shell and all of the nail art that I need to apply. Get a little bit. And on this nail, what I want to do is I just want to put a little bit of shell and some gold foil. Right, I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to start applying some shells. Now I'm going to grab my metallic gold liner. Use my liner brush. Remember to clean before dipping into the next product. So I just, I clean my brush before going in with the gold. I'm going to paint the clear gel that I just drew, the, the border here. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. The shakier, the better in my opinion. It looks more natural that way. I'm gonna get some sculpting gel. I'm gonna get started on this now. I'm gonna cure this. I'm going to paint over the seashells that I just applied with some of this milky sheer white. I kind of, I wanna soften these colors a bit. So there's gonna be a lot of layers on this now. Okay, so I've already cured the milky sheer whites that I painted over the seashells. I'm gonna go in with two sheer colors is from the brand Rika gel I'm gonna use this purpley clear ish it's it's kind of like a purple blue color really pretty green it's kind of like a turquoise I don't know how to describe it it looks different on camera but these two colors are sheer with the clean brush I'm gonna go in with the green color just a little bit you don't need a lot and I like to use the lid just to stretch the color a bit and kind of coat my brush want just a small amount just to give it a little tint so I'm just gonna paint over it just like that kind of give it a little bit of color do you guys see that you don't need a lot these are so pigmented all right I'm gonna clean my brush I'm gonna go in with the purple blue color use the lid and I'm gonna paint the rest of this now and kind of blend both colors together so it looks like a interesting watercolor I love working with sheer colors because you can easily blend them you see that it looks beautiful once again I'm gonna go back to my gold liner gel I'm gonna mix it a little more and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna paint the frame with this gold color and not really going at a straight line Moving on to this nail, the middle nail, I'm going to go back to my sculpting gel. I'm going to grab a little bit of that just so I can adhere some of these shells and some flakes that I'm about to stick on this nail. I'm gonna focus mostly in the middle part of the nail. Now you can do the entire nail if you'd like. This is just how I want it to look. Now I'm gonna grab some Aurora flakes, just kind of sprinkle them in there. You don't want the sparkle, you don't have to put it. I just want it. 
add a little more shine to this. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter. This is such a nice gold glitter. Now I'm gonna go in with a dry gel brush. Just a tiny amount. Okay, so that looks really pretty. I'm gonna cure this. Going back to the sheer white gel, I'm gonna paint over what I just did right now. And you guys are probably thinking, no, it looks really nice. It does look nice, so you can just leave it like that if you want, but I kind of want to go over it with a little bit of clear, clear. I keep saying clear. <laughs> I mean sheer, sheer white. So I'm just going to paint over the nail with this very, very translucent white gel just to kind of diffuse the sparkle a bit. I'm going to encapsulate all of the nails. Make sure you put enough gel so there are no divots and no holes, no bumps in the nail. And if there and if you do have some unevenness, remember you can always just buff the nail to smooth it out. Okay, last one. That's it for my nail art tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, you can always change the colors to customize this look. And as always, remember to keep your cuticles nice and hydrated. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!